day in the lives of twin mums. So this is like our nighttime routine. The boys are sleeping through the night, so we have been very fortunate. They are 21 weeks tomorrow. This is them just chilling before their dinner. I have started weaning them slightly, so they're getting a little dinner at night and absolutely loving it. This is me just putting my washing out. I had another two washings again after it. Look at the state of that living room. But my thought is when the boys go to sleep, we'll tackle that then. This is from Anne from Canada. Um, I've just been giving out the gift bags and clearing everything out. Lovely wee t-shirts for the boys from Canada. You're so kind, Dan. Thank you so much. And lovely woolly hats and they are proper thick. Thank you. So I thought, since I'm on my own this weekend, the girls are away, I've got all their bath stuff out. I'm charging their monitor. I am ready to go. For having twins, the best way you can do it is just be prepared. This is them with our Canada. <laughs> our Canadian bibs on. Look how big they are on them. But to be prepared, if you're prepared, then it's less chaos. But if you're not prepared, it can feel very overwhelming. So this was them having a little bit of their dinner. Ezra is so messy while he's eating, but he is loving it. Rue loves his dinner, but he gets so tired. He's usually wants to go down by quarter past six, so at this point he gets a little bit tired and loses patience. I did try him with the bottle. Ezra had it all over his face. The poor little soul was waiting on me feeding him again. <laughs> so I had to give Rue the bottle. Twin mum life right enough and feed Ezra at the same time. This was after their feeds, they were pretty content. Rue was shattered at this point, so this is where we had to keep them awake until it's bedtime. So hopefully they sleep through the night, so I was using the maracas. Ezra's doing really well at holding it. Rue not so much, it's still a little bit heavy for Rue. As you can see, Ezra's loving it. Yep, danger nap. Rue fell asleep, so I thought I'll give him 10 minutes while I was getting the bottles organised. So they're on six ounce bottles, so again, be organised. I got the two bottles ready just before I got the bath and everything set up so that when they came out the bath, it was just good to go. There we go. And I was never organised before I had the twins. And Ezra was awake, so I thought, he's always last to go to sleep, let's bath him first. He was the other way around, so I come back in. Rue is still out like, cold at this point. I do make their bath quite hot because it chills them out a bit and makes them really sleepy as well. So we're going to get started with Ezra. As I said, he takes a bit longer to go to sleep. He's full of beans, as you can see. Look at the colour of him. <laughs> there he is. They love the bath. Absolutely love it. And it does chill them out. And this time all fresh, nice and clean. And there it was Rue's turn. I was dreading waking him up. He's still so snuggly. Yep, he wasn't overly chuffed. But once I brought him out the bath, he was a happy bunny. He loves getting dried. All the clothes are still a little bit big on him. He's still in ages out of newborn, getting into zero to three months. Stay this loving him. I could not wait. It's better than what it was. It's a start. <laughs> the boys are still chilling and this was them getting their bottles. This was just about half past six. There we go, down. Alexa's on nursery. 